so in this video I want to talk about driver and I think the most important thing about driver is understanding two components. One of them is width and the second one is club face. Now what generally happens with most amateur golfers is that they encroach the space and the distance between your original posture and when you hit the golf ball. So that basically means if we drew a line, we create a line here, reference my target line, and we create another line on the back of my hips. What I'm basically saying is at some point in time, the hips are moving closer towards the ball, which basically means that you have to sort of fold your arms to hit the ball, and you end up hitting the golf ball with a sort of scooping action. And quite simply, what I mean by a, put this golf ball in here, what I mean by a scooping action is when the club head is overtaking the hands. Now, when you hit the golf ball with a scooping action, you can still hit the golf ball straight, okay? And you can still hit the golf ball pretty well, but what will happen is that you'll lose distance because theoretically you're sort of hitting it with an open face and you produce too much spin on the ball and obviously there you go, it goes spinning up in the air. The way you're gonna bring the spin down is by working on a closure on the face. Now, what's important to understand, and I, the tool that I like to use for this to, to really understand club face closure is a swing guide. So if you sort of position the swing guide, if you've got one, most people that I tend to speak to student-wise tend to have bought one of these at some point in time. What you want to do with the swing guide is if you posi position it vertically, but if you're somebody who grips the golf club particularly strong and your left arm is quite rotated over, you might need to just tilt it slightly, this, this direction. But if I position it neutral, because I have a relatively sort of neutral to strong grip, what would happen in the backswing is that you'll produce a bit of a hinge with your wrists so that basically the swing guide aligns itself to your forearm. So if I sort of hold the club out in front of me now like so. Now, a flipping action is when the club head and the forearm are no longer in line. So you can see the way the swing guide is moving in this direction and, and this is obviously in a different alignment. A rolling action is when they stay in line, which basically means, as you can see here, the swing guide is still in line with my forearm. So I think that's something worth noting. Because I had a student recently, uh, one of my students recently, who, who was a bit flippy and um, thought they were releasing and rolling by sort of doing this. But what they need to do is, is keep the two more in line. And by just doing that explanation seemed to help quite a lot. So maybe that would be helpful for a lot of you as well. So that'd be the first thing to practice, to understand, oh my God, that club face actually needs to be quite closed, coming in towards that sort of post-impact position. Um, and from there, you need to maintain your distance. And I, I think a good feeling is to obviously demonstrate your backswing position. And just to get the feeling that your lead hip is trying to move as far away from the golf ball as you possibly can. Because like I say, what this will do is this will give you the chance then to bring those arms down, keeping the club on plane, and then getting that feeling of closing the face towards the bottom part of the swing. So it's a simple one, this video. It's a feeling. For golfers who are drastically struggling with driver, the high likelihood is that you're moving close towards the golf ball and you're hitting it with an open face. So therefore, to oversimplify, just get the feeling of moving the lead hip, okay, as far away as you can from your target line, while simultaneously getting that feeling of closing the face and see how you get on. I think the thing that fears most golfers is that you'll hit it left. But what you might just surprise yourself is actually the reason why you hit it left is because you move close to the ball and you flip the face to the left. Actually, what I see with a lot of students is by the feeling like you move further away, just closing and rotating your arms, you'll generally be much closer towards playing. And you might just be surprised in terms of the results. So it's definitely worth having a go. It's a simple little one, this video. It's just something that could be more of a feel, something that maybe you can take straight towards the golf course to get rid of those sort of high, spinny, sort of slicey type shots and produce something which is less spinny, low, and more powerful by simply just understanding the correct rolling action of closing the face, simultaneously by not encroaching the space and getting further away. And by doing this, you should feel, as I'm demonstrating here, I'm not vertical and on it. It's a much shallower swing shape, and it could make a big, big difference. See you guys again really soon.